Listo. Listo. Hey everybody, I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we are both artists who have moved, moved to, to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Yes, we have. So welcome aboard. Thanks for coming along our little journey here. And today we're just gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about not so much our daily life because we've talked about that some, but kind of uh, some things you might not know about Costa Rica as well as what we're kind of calling successes and challenges. Right. So we'll start off with you. So what are some of your successes? All right. So it's kind of a two-part answer, um, partly before we got here and then partly being here. And so for me, I think navigating some of the bureaucracy around the residency process and just logistics of getting here, uh, I consider a huge success. Um, so that was really good. Uh, being here, uh, it's, it's very much as I expected things to be, although there are differences. And so, you know, successes or catching a mosquito. Right? <laughs> you know, for me, a lot of it is learning our area and where the stores are and how to pay the bills and things like that. So a lot of those issues, um, just getting to know a new country. And I have lived in Latin America before, so it's not so much a culture shock, but being here is, you know, it's very specific to what, what our needs are going to be. Good. Yeah. So... I think one of Rob's great successes is um, navigating the roads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Rob does an extremely good job driving here, um, and I'm appreciative of that. So I consider that one of his successes. And, um, and learning how they do things here as far as repairing things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, um, that's more his realm than mine. And a little road noise for you. <laughs> That's a segue. Um, there's one main road that goes through here um, and from one end to the other, actually, from mm -hmm. Costa Rica. And what's the name of it? Which? The Coastal... Oh, Costanera. The Costanera. The Costanera is the highway that goes along the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. And a lot of the locals uh, have built their homes very, very close to the road. Um, so I'm sure it was for ease at one time, and now they've ended up quite close to the road, which isn't my cup of tea, but that's the way that they do things here. So that is what I have found different. Um, back to what I think Rob's successes are, uh, learning plumbing. Uh, plumbing is very different. I'm used to a certain, where certain pipes are hidden and where um, the faucet turn-ons are metal. And that is not the case here. They're plastic. No. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just watching him learn those things um, has been amazing to me, actually. So I would consider that successes of yours as well. Thanks, babe. Yeah, navigating the roads and navigating the way things are, are repaired mm -hmm. and yeah. things like that around yeah. here. It's just, yeah, it's just done differently. It's a different climate, um, different socioeconomic status here. And so materials that you would use in the United States don't exist here or are just completely different. Um, yeah. And a couple of examples for that. Um, Rob is used to using a hoe okay for gardening <laughs> purposes and things like that yeah and they really did not even know what that was at the at the um, store here in town yeah um, she looked it up on her phone I think, <laughs> yes. actually the internet looked and then it up she, online yeah and she ordered one and do you remember the name of it ahadon ahadon a-j-a-d-o-n and we got a very sturdy very mm -hmm. sturdy yeah. <laughs> hoe it's heavy yeah, um, but uh, but we got one. Yeah, it's coming really handy. Yeah, um, it's just it's just one of the cultural differences. Right. Um, you know, they're they're very common in other countries and not so much here for whatever reason. And to follow that with a, another uh, example is uh, we had a fruit picker. Right. At home, and they do at this store. It's like a feed store, supply store, something like that. You know, you can get your dog food there. You can get 
tools there, machetes mm -hmm. there, that kind of thing. You can thing. buy baby chickens. <laughs> that is true. You can. Get your chicks. <laughs> and um, they have the, the fruit picker picker. Right. Um, but it doesn't have a handle. And we, at home in Vallejo, California, had an extension pole. You could make it quite long so that you could reach up into the trees. And uh, they don't have that here. So we were talking to a friend about it, and he's like, here in Costa Rica, we would... Just use bamboo. Right. <laughs> Get, go cut a piece of bamboo and, you know, use that as the, as the pole. And it's like, oh my gosh. You know, Rob and I really are experts at using what we have. Yeah. And we're not accustomed to what we have yet. So that's been a learning curve as well. Mm -hmm. So... Um, my successes. Successes. Okay, my successes. Digame. Huh? Digame, tell me. Okay. <laughs> my successes are being able to order our coffee to go mm -hmm. uh, in Spanish, uh, to be able to communicate a little bit in Spanish. Um, it is humbling for me to not be better in Spanish, but I will stay with the successes right now and being able to speak some Spanish is a success story for me. Um, to learn, learning how to use the available fruits, uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. beans, and things like that. Yeah. Um, and using the, um, the heat sources that are here. It's a little bit different than, than what I'm used to. So uh, those things have been successes as well. Yeah. And shopping. Right. You know, shopping because we are um, I, savvy. We're savvy with our, our money. Yeah, good way to put it. And uh, and so shopping in a big store uh, like the Walmart that we shop in, uh, we work together. That's another success. I want to really um, uh, brag, actually boast, <laughs> I do, about uh, how Rob and I have become a team. A very very strong team we were a team before always have been yeah and it just our communication skills are better um, yeah we're in it together yeah and for us this is a team sport and neither of us probably would have done this on our own and so we both had to be committed to this adventure to this journey and we are and uh, as you see successes and challenges but you know there's things that she does that I've just in awe of and I think it's absolutely fantastic and she probably thinks the Vice same person. yeah mm -hmm. so absolutely you know it, it, it just it for us it works well together not saying you couldn't come down here on your own many people do that very successfully right and one thing I'll say about Laura Marie is she's is and always has been a fantastic chef you know, had her own catering company um, worked as a chef before and she just does marvelous things with whatever we have I mean, one of her great skills back in the States is whatever's in the fridge, she's going to turn it into something fantastic. And same thing here. Yep. And it's like making use of what we have and not going crazy. We do not buy very many packaged foods. So almost everything we're, we ate in the States as well as here, it's kind of, it's mostly from scratch. Mm -hmm. Rice and beans and veggies from the truck and fresh fruits from the neighborhood. So... Being able to continue Literally. this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mango tree on our dog walk. Just pick them up off the street and eat them for breakfast. Yep, yeah. Which is wonderful. And I have played with the turmeric again uh -huh. uh, very successfully. So that has really been fun uh, to use the very fresh herbs, the ginger and the turmeric. That's been very, very fun and very plentiful in yeah. this area. So They make it very easy to be able to eat well here mm -hmm. without blowing out your budget yes which which is possible you can Absolutely. you can buy branded foods and Jif peanut butter and the fancy pastas and you can buy those things in most grocery stores but we wouldn't do that in the state so we're not doing it here and we we went shopping yesterday mm -hmm. and uh, at Walmart we went to the farmers market first that yeah. is more our speed yeah love and it. we filled I don't know three bags yeah Full of different things, fruits and vegetables, and so eggs, very, very fun. Lettuce, oh yeah, yeah, eggs and lechuga, and, yeah, uh, etc. And then we went to Walmart to buy the other things that you can't get at farmers market. Yeah. And um, 
we were we go down lots of aisles to see what they have, and they had Tide. Do you remember the price yeah. price of the Tide? Oh my gosh, Tide laundry detergent was five times as much as the the whatever brand that they had there. I don't I don't know if it's Costa Rica's version of a Walmart brand, but five times as much for. Tide laundry detergent. If you want it, it's there. <laughs> and if you want to get the the liquid that you know everybody uses, right. And if you want to get the powder stuff, it's it's even cheaper than that. You right. know, the Tide would have been ten times as much as that. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're not so, that brand conscious. Right. So those are things that we're learning as well, which mm -hmm. is really really fun. You know, yeah. To walk through the aisles and and learn those things. So that's really fun. Yeah. And just remember that all of the the brands that people might like from their regions if they're here they're imported and they're going to be more expensive because of that so buying something that's made in costa rica or in central america you can find a lot of really good brands so you can find dawn to do your dishes mm -hmm. or you can use what they use here and it's in a cup and it's a very concentrated dense gritty paste yeah uh, that we use to wash our dishes with but axion axion <laughs> or I think there's another brand anyway yeah. um, of that style. So you can get Dawn or you can use what the locals use, which is what we're choosing to do. Totally. That's, yeah. who, that's why we came. Mm -hmm. That is why we came for the new experience. Yeah. Okay. Challenges. Challenges. Um, we'll probably both say the same thing. One, the, one of the biggest challenges this time of year in this region are the bugs. And um, it's... Uh, you know, we have been in areas before with lots of mosquitoes. Um, I'm from Ohio and Northeast Ohio in summertime, there's mosquitoes all over the place. It's crazy. Um, but it's, it's similar here. And one of the things to remember is this is, this is a rainforest. And there is amazing biodiversity here. So, you know, the butterflies and the birds and all this amazing stuff. But then what happens is Along with those things, you get the insects that aren't as fun. And we're in an area that's a little bit wetter than some others, um, like specifically the, the place we're staying. So I have been um, stung by bees, I've been stung by wasps, been bitten by ants, been bitten by mosquitoes, been bitten by noceums, and who knows what else. And so that is, that's a pretty good challenge, and it's, it's sort of an ongoing one. Um, there's some things that we can mitigate a little bit, and there's some th things you can't. And uh, it's like, just just deal with it. Deal with it, you know, put some bug spray on if you have to. Um, so that there's that one. And I would say one of the other challenges that I've noticed is it has to do with um, how fast things grow here. And this is a very important consideration for people who are thinking of buying property and what you're going to do with it. Now, there's lots of um, uh, people here who are more than happy to help out with the cleaning of your places and gardening and stuff like that, and that's great, but if you want to keep up on this stuff yourself, um, it, amazed, it amazes me how fast things grow here. And in addition, there is just, um, it's the rainy season, so the weeds are growing like in days, days. You, you clear an area where there's a like, gravel walkway, and it's... You got stuff growing in days, and so without using pesticides and things, it's a, it's a fair amount of work. But there's palm trees that drop branches, and there's other trees that drop branches, and there's trees that just fall because they're, you know, it's it's a rainforest. And so there's a lot of maintenance, a lot of maintenance. The, the jungle is always trying to take back what it's. And so, you know, to keep a nice area requires a lot of maintenance, requires a lot of time. So, and uh, we're helping out a little bit here with some of the, the repairs and uh, yard work and stuff. So, it's really good to see what we have to look forward to when we get our own space. And it also helps me decide that I don't want a massive property. Right. Yeah. We have learned so much. Yes, yes. So, those are my probably two biggest challenges. And okay. you? Um, I have to say that the bugs, and I was thinking about this earlier, it isn't the bugs, okay, because I can see bugs around and that doesn't bother me. Right. But it is the stinging bugs <laughs> <laughs> that I have an issue with. 
and um, mosquitoes, yes. Uh, no seams I don't have the biggest problem with. It's more mosquitoes and the ants. Mm -hmm. I tend to stand <laughs> in ant nests. In her flip-flops. She's good flip at finding them, yes. <laughs> and so I'll be standing there talking to Rob, and then all of a sudden my feet are on fire. And I look down, and there's these teeny tiny ants that are just stinging my feet like crazy. And the other day we had some metal um, delivered for a little roof yeah. repair. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a, a young lady was the delivery person, and she came, and she had, she was adorable, and her, she, perfect manicure, these beautiful pink nails, she got off that truck, and she helped move that metal around, so we got it all piled up, and I was doing something with Rob, talking to him, I'm standing by the metal, and I am on fire. I have I've been attacked by these little ants, and I'm brushing them off with my hands, and my hands are getting stung, and so I'm running to the pool and putting my feet in the pool, trying to get the <laughs> ants off, and, and then I'm on fire for a couple of days. Yeah. So um, it's miserable. That part is miserable. So, um, and we've both done that more, more than once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So shoes and socks are important <laughs> many times. Many and, times in daily vows, you don't have them on. <laughs> and look where you're standing. Be aware yes. of where you're standing. Um, and don't stand in one place too long. <laughs> that's what they say. Don't stand in one place too long. And I have to say that it, it a lot of it is where we are. Mm -hmm. And like Rob said, you know, the jungle just wants to close in. It just grows so rapidly, and it just wants to close in. So um, if you have an area that is drier, if you have an area that is more clear, I'm sure that some of these issues aren't a big deal. Now, while Rob was working on the roof, I was taking the hoe. What's the name of it? Ahadon. The Ahadon. And I was clearing um, some dead leaves and things like that from a hill that's right by. And fruit, side. leaves, right. branches. So I'm hoping that that helps. And I ran across a tire that had some water in it. And of course, that we know that that's a breeding ground for the mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So I got rid of that. So hopefully these things will help. But it is a it is a learning curve. Right. And thank you to those people who have given us uh, ideas about mosquito abatement and things like that. And yeah, we don't need any more ideas no, on that. We're well aware of <laughs> where they grow and what to do and stuff. What's, it's just when you have a, a property that's two acres, you can't find every leaf that might be holding water in right. it, especially when it's up on a hill in right. a jungle. And it, Or the banana leaves. Yeah. You know, they hold water. And, so anyway, yeah, yep. the abatement thing, we got it. Okay. Great. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, another challenge for me is getting ready to drive here. All right, I find that a very large challenge, and Rob is so good at it. And so it's easy to divert. Is that what, the word I want to use? It's e easy for me to hand it over to him and, oh, just, yeah. and let him drive. So defer. Defer, thank you. And, um, and so that's something that is coming up on my mind, uh, is being able to drive. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't want to feel... Uh, totally dependent on, on Rob for those things. And then that also the challenge of the language, uh, which Rob is very good, and it's easy to defer to mm -hmm. him and let him do the communication. Although when he communicates with uh, people in Spanish, I catch the, the gist of the conversation. I can you know pretty much tell what they're talking about. But I need to have that skill. So that will come with time. Yeah. When I woke up this morning during my quiet time, it became real to me that, for me, the magic is going to take about two years for it to settle in. You know, I will feel comfortable here, and it's going to take about two years, so I need to give myself time. I need to be patient with myself mm -hmm. and continue to learn and continue to face these challenges and challenge myself. But it's going to take a little bit of time. So, so I think that those are my challenges. Good, good, good. Yeah. yeah, and we we have met uh, a lot of a lot mm -hmm. of good people, a lot of good people. They're both Ticos and um, expats, and we've met some people who have not been here much longer than us, and we've met people who've been here for years, and we've got a lot of knowledge from them, a whole lot of knowledge about, oh, this store is great, or, you know, this person has a taxi service, and things like that, and so... This person's a gardener. This uh -huh. person can help you with this. This person can help you with that. Yeah, and so it's, it's a really nice community here. One reason we like Platanillo and uh, are planning on trying to stay here. So the community aspect is wonderful. And um, 
there's a number of people that we've met who've made a really concerted effort to meet Ticos and mm -hmm. have them as part of their lives and be part of the community, not set aside. Right, and get I, to we, know their names. Uh -huh. you know, their names, what they do, who their kids are. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what we're doing too, slowly. We've only been here a month and a half. And right. It feels like we've made really good strides, but I like this area and we want to be part of it. You know, our, our goal here is not to bring the U.S. here. Right. You know, not to bring the things that we did and the ways that we did them here. It's, Except for the hope. The hope, right. <laughs> but everybody in Latin America uses hoes to mix concrete, except for Costa Rica. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> so today, I actually had a friend from California that's in the area for just a little while, and I got to meet her for coffee. And it became very apparent to me, now she's only been here for, I'll say, about a week, and it became very apparent to me that I have some knowledge of the area, mm -hmm. which was really neat. You know, I have a month and a half of knowledge that she doesn't have because she's only been here for a week. So that was exciting. And tomorrow we're having friends over for dinner. Yep, yep, good stuff. So we're gonna have taco salad, and if you've ever had dinner at my house, then you know that Yeah. we serve taco salad a lot. They're vegetarian, so we're using a meat substitute. And, uh, and yeah, we're might not we're be Trader it. Joe's soy chorizo, but we'll do our best. We will, <laughs> absolutely. So we got a couple of fun videos for you guys. Um, not a whole lot this not week. Not a whole lot this week. It's been kind of a um, kind of a nesting. Yeah, nesting kind of week, which is good. Uh, we're doing we're doing some some paperwork and things, um, and uh, just kind of hunkering down here. There's uh, projects that I that I've been helping out with, and. Yeah, we're just living, dog walking, all that mm -hmm. fun stuff. Yep, doing our yoga, doing our dog walks. I get to swim. Rob's doing some yard work, um, mm -hmm. some roof repair. All right, right. Yeah. And just just to let everybody know, though, um, this is, for my to my mind, this is exactly what I expected. Um, some small things different, but this is what I came here for: is this life and this pace in this amazing biodiverse beautifully natural country and I'm not disappointed <coughs> pardon me so this morning we got to see some wildlife oh my gosh yeah it was great and what a delight that was you mm -hmm. know we were sipping on our coffee and Aguti uh, Aguti Aguti just running across the driveway yeah which is look a, it up lo oh look it up, look it up. Aguti <laughs> Look it up, it's a large rodent. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a big guinea pig, yeah, like a foot and a half long guinea pig. Yeah, they're really cool, like. and they're pretty shy. And, and we saw a morpho. Blue morpho butterfly. Oh my gosh, yeah. you know, just beautiful entertainment this mm -hmm. morning. Beautiful birds every day. Yeah. So it seems like anytime we're having uh, maybe a less than stellar day, Mother so, Nature's like, hey, check this out. Mm -hmm. This place is awesome. Right. And, yeah, and it's. And when I was having coffee with Susie at the view, which has a view, obviously, uh, there was a lizard climbing the tree, and he, when he would breathe, he would uh, puff up his neck with bright, 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 bright red. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Jenkins, are you happy? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes, very, very, very happy here. Ask me. Mrs. Jenkins, are you happy here? I am so happy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're happy. Yeah, yeah I think we've, we've slotted into the pace of life here extremely well. And just the day-to-day -day things, we'll, you know, those, those that we haven't done a good job at, we'll, we'll get the hang of it. Yep, we'll do yeah. better. We're mm -hmm. learning. We're learning, yeah. yeah absolutely. It's good. Never too late to learn. Absolutely. All right, I think that's good. Good stuff. Okay, thanks a lot for coming along. Yes. Thank you for your comments. So uh, we do try to respond to everyone. Yep. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, our numbers are growing. So. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so fun. nice to see uh, new people put comments out there and uh, subscribers, and we just try to keep it interesting. This is this is our journey. It might have some relevance to you. Maybe you have some comments about doing the same thing, and that's great. So, uh, thank you for your support. And there will be more to, more changes happening. Oh, yeah. We can guarantee yeah. that. Yeah, eventually we're hopefully going to buy property mm -hmm. with the house, without, who knows. But we'll take you on that yep. journey. Yep. And, um, yeah, you get to 
get to see about trash and recycling a little bit today. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, there's one of the bonus videos. <laughs> All right, thanks again for coming along. Adios. Ciao. So today we are getting new tires on our car. Even better grip. We found this river. I'm going to call it a river. It's absolutely gorgeous and warm. Here's a little family enjoying the water. Mama and Papa and Bibby. The water's very warm and very beautiful. I put my feet in. It was lovely. Okay, one of the things that Rob is having to do is repair a roof. So we have just had some metal delivered, 12 foot long pieces, 12 foot long pieces, at least. Uh, and I think 12 pieces. So it doesn't look like 12 pieces, but look at our delivery gal. Wowza. All right, Pura Vida. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys today is garbage pickup so in costa rica this is what they have for garbage pickup uh, around most places especially out in the country and uh just to show you it's basically a, a metal basket that's out front of the house and we fill it up with uh, bags of garbage as you see and then every wednesday somebody comes and takes care of it so it's a private company and they take care of it. I'm not sure where it goes, but they don't really have municipal gar garbage pickup like we do in the States. So, kind of interesting stuff. And then there's a, there's a little shot of the neighborhood. All right, thanks.